Okay, it's 9.52. Welcome back. The YMCA of Greater Richmond Millennial Initiative is hosting the second annual Suits and Sneaks Gala on February 3rd, and you're invited. Joining us this morning with the details are Alex Moore, Senior Director of Development at YMCA, along with Stuart Farrell, who is part of the YMCA Millennial Initiative. It's great to see both of you. Good morning. This Stuart, I see you're already uh, know, getting ready for the uh, fair. He, he did it. He did I feel it. underdressed <laughs> or overdressed. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> How nice is it to, to make this uh, gala event that really um, calls everybody into action, but yet is so relaxed? You know, it's a, it's a wonderful event, and, it's, uh, and it helps a wonderful cause. It helps the North Side and Petersburg YMCA's. They haven't had large renovations in about 40 years. Those communities deserve state-of-the-art facilities, and this is a great way to have fun, but really help those Y's with their renovations. We were at the uh, groundbreak in Petersburg a few weeks ago, and the mayor was out, the whole community, the police force, the fire department, and the joy we saw in their faces for it. And it's a way you can you kind of kind of can fulfill that and, and also help that community. Alex, when you hear a group of uh, millennials really coming together to help you out, how does that help? Uh, uh, really boost the spirits of folks at the YMCA. So funny enough, last year um, at the event, uh, one of our senior leaders said, wow, you made the Y fun. And I was like, I know it's always been fun, but now we just have this young energy coming back in. Um, for a long time, we've just needed the next generation of leaders to really come along. And this has been a great way to engage that next generation and like Stuart. And you're stepping up into with its sneakers as well. I mean, where'd you guys come up with this idea? Because it's just so irreverent and fun because you, you hear like suits and tuxedos and black tie, it could be a little stuffy, but then, you know, you wear sneaks. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah, yeah. you know, we wanted something that was fun and, uh, and something that reflected the Y. And obviously the Y has a long history of ath athletics and sports. My son plays 8.30 on Saturdays, the Tucko Y, some great basketball. And uh, we thought, <laughs> you know, things like that are part of the Y and let's, let's honor that while having fun. I love this idea of the millennial initiative because we're all having conversations about engaging millennials. What, what is the secret? Mm. What, how, how is this influx coming in of interest? So I gotta give credit where credit is due. Stuart and his wife Mary and a couple of other of our really strong leaders just stepped up and took over and said, I wanna get my friends involved. Yeah. And I think for the why, you know, we're way more than a swimming gym. Any day of the week you walk in and there's young folks in there with their kids. Saturday morning soccer, and I think it's just a natural fit to have this next generation, this younger crowd for us. And I think that that is probably a lot of it. Yeah. And we want to say that Mary, your wife, is due in about two weeks. So, <laughs> so we can make sure hope that comes after February third. The, the, the due date is two days after the events. We hope, <laughs> hope she's there. So hope my you know, future daughter knows to wait a couple extra days. But, uh, <laughs> well, yeah. well, please wish Mary yeah. well. Thank you. Uh, does this? interaction with the YMCA, Stuart, for you and your friends that are getting involved, is this just a one-off or is this really cultivating a relationship that's going to last a lifetime? I hope it lasts a lifetime. I mean, I've been going to the Y since I was four years old playing sports, and it's a wonderful organization. Beyond just the gym and the, and the athletics, they do so much for the community. They're the largest child care provider in the city. And, uh, and that's, and, and particularly north side of Petersburg, those communities you know, really want to help. And I think we, we want to set up leadership with this event to hopefully get our generation help for a long time. So I, I'm, I'm proud to be a part of this and committed for the wonderful work they do. Good hands. And you yeah. mentioned, you know, rejuvenating north side, rejuvenating this Petersburg, but there's so many locations. I think that's what connects with people. It's a, it really is a community center for neighborhoods. There's so many spots in town. Yeah, 16 branches, Camp Thunderbird, down the street in Chesterfield. Um, it's you can go anywhere in the greater metro area and run into a Y. And as a Y member, you can go to any Y. Mm -hmm. you know, so there's very few people anywhere. in this community have not been touched by the Y. Mm -hmm. right. It's amazing their reach. We have 45 seconds left here. Tell us what can expect. Uh, I know I was there last year. It's a fun time. What can we expect on the third? So first, Capital One is sponsoring it again, and they did a beautiful job for us last year, so thank you. And then I saw that Brian, Chef Brian was here. Publix is going to be sponsoring all of our food. So expect some delicious Publix Aprons Cooking School food. It's you know it's February third's event. We have the best hosts uh, in, in the city. Yes, Greg we McQuaid. do. Yeah. So that by itself is enough reason to come. Uh, they didn't pay me to say that. And uh, and, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And, you know, how often you get to wear uh, suits and I sneaks? I know. So, We've got some so information. Come out. I got to go sneaker shopping. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the second annual Suits and Sneaks Gala is Saturday, February third, from seven thirty to eleven at uh, Plant Zero, located in Manchester Warehouse District. And uh, I do have the pleasure of emceeing, as you heard Stuart and Alex say going to be a great time. Are you going to plan your outfit up from the sneakers? That's what I want to know. Absolutely. For more information, we'll have a link on our show website by early this afternoon, wtbr.com slash VTM. Alex Stewart, thanks so much for joining us.